Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to go out with my friend. She invited me out for a little girl's night. This friend lives pretty far from me. She ended up moving a few years ago. And so we don't really get to hang out that much. So when she invited me out, I was like, yeah girl, for sure. But I'm running late per usual. So today, I can't remember if I told y'all or not, but I had this really huge crack on my windshield. So I had the car people come out to my house to fix it and they ended up replacing my windshield. So I had to deal with that when I got home from work. And then I had to finish editing and uploading this YouTube video and also this TikTok that I had to finish editing as well. Doing content is like so much and I think that I just need to do a better job of planning content. I have a full-time job. I work Monday through Friday and a lot of times I have to find time like after I get off of work to film or to edit and post content. Especially like at my job, my service is really bad. Like I've tried to like record content ahead of time and schedule it to upload but because our service is so bad in my building it won't even allow my videos to upload while I'm at work so I have to upload things like when I get home it's just a lot it gets super hectic when you're trying to like do content but also you have a regular life I've been trying to upload like 10 TikToks a week um because that was the recommendation that TikTok gave me. Follow me on there at Kayla Simone. So I'm kind of still new, but I like it so far. I mean, it's definitely quick and short content, not like YouTube. But I actually just really love YouTube. I've been watching YouTube since I was in like middle school. I used to watch YouTube all the time. There's just like some YouTubers that like I used to watch back in the day and they really like inspired me and made me really want to do YouTube and I've wanted to do YouTube for like a really long time but I just was honestly scared to do it and I don't know I guess I kind of just felt like I wasn't really like good enough or I wasn't pretty enough or you know like who would really like want to watch me I felt like my life wasn't like interesting or fun like how the people that I would watch would be and so I was like really discouraged and then also you know just like people around like people don't really get it people don't whenever you like you want to do something that's like different or outside the box people like to make you feel like you know it's a dumb idea or like oh who you trying to be you're trying to be like so and so you want to be like this person you want to be like that person and it's like no I want to be like me because that's the only person I can be I just would like let all that stuff kind of get to my head and prevent me from actually doing something that I actually really wanted to do and I'm not really like that with a lot of things and I think especially when I was younger I was a lot more willing to just do stuff like it was like oh f everybody opinion I'm just gonna go ahead and do it but like as I got older I feel like I did get a little bit more discouraged with things and like less confident and so I kind of felt like you know like wow like should I really do this is it is anybody really gonna watch me you know you be thinking like oh people gonna like what are people gonna think it'd be the people around you that that's like discouraging you from doing stuff or making you feel like you can't do it and I'm really just trying to like break out of that because at the end of the day like this is my life like this is my life and if I want to do something then I just need to go ahead and do it and not worry about what other people got to say or anybody else's opinions because at the end of the day like their opinions do not matter and they not live in my life at the end of the day like I gotta wake up every day and love myself and be confident of who I am and love being in my own skin so I can't let other people you know outside opinions <clears throat> so I can't let 
outside opinions discourage me from living my life because I would never get nowhere like that and I always notice too that it's always the people that like not really doing nothing that always got so much to say when I was younger and stuff and I would like make, make like little accomplishments and it will always be like the people around me who's supposed to love and care for me and cheer me on like it will always be them that had so much negative to say or thought it was oh so funny or thought you know wanted to like make my accomplishments seem so minuscule you know those are the people that don't got nothing going on like no shade it's always the people who never took risk in their life to try to discourage you from taking risks in your own life. And you really just gotta block them people out. And that's what I've just been trying to do, is block everybody out, you know, F what anybody gotta say about me or what I'm doing, because y'all shouldn't be worried about it anyway. And that's why I love that my mom is always like speaking life into me and always like encouraging me, because people will really talk down on you for like no reason and make you, you know, seem like less than or just but when you start doing good and you start you know showing that you know you don't care about their opinion or what they got to say that's when people want to come back and be like oh my god oh my god you did this you did that like oh my god i can't believe this or, oh my god you look so good and, oh my god you came a long way like it's always them people I remember when I had gotten to school and I decided to go to college and stuff like that. Like people thought it was like so funny that I decided to go to college um, in state for some reason. In a time when people should have been applauding me for deciding to get a higher education, people took the opportunity to like laugh at me or throw shots at me because I didn't go to a university out of state. And it's like, you didn't go to college at all. And it's not like I'm saying you have to go to college because I get that it's not for everybody. But it's like, how you throwing shots at me for getting a higher education? Like, is that not a good thing? That's a positive thing. Like, you should be, you should be encouraging me for wanting to get a higher education instead that instead you're laughing at me for the decisions that I'm making and stuff like that I feel like really like used to get get to me when I was younger and used to make me feel like damn like nobody nobody cares like nobody supports me people would like to gossip about you and have so much to say about you when it's something bad but when you're actually doing something good and positive nobody is speaking that into you you know what i'm saying it's like y'all only want to address negative stuff y'all never want to address positive things y'all never want to acknowledge when um somebody is doing something positive with their life it really kind of made me feel like shut off from people and not really like trust people because i feel like people always preying on your downfall I just want my channel to be like a safe space for you guys and for me also because it's like something that I'm still like trying to get over and that's the reason why I wanted to start this channel because I wanted to, to take a leap and do something that like I really wanted to do and I'm not trying to mess up my makeup but at the end of the day y'all F them people like <laughs> F what them haters gotta say about you. F what people opinions is about you. F what people say that you can and can't do. Like, don't let them people trick you out your spot. Cause I guarantee that you're gonna be more upset with yourself for letting people trick you out your spot. Anything that you wanna do, do it. And like, yeah, like we're doing this together. Like this is a big step for me. And it takes a lot of confidence for me to like get up on this camera and really talk to y'all and like post and record like that it's one thing to even get on the camera but to like watch it over edit it post it like it's like yo like i be shaking in my boots sometimes because i'm like oh my god like 
I'm really putting myself out there. And when you putting yourself out there, like on the internet, you giving people a space to like talk about you. And yeah, I'm just trying to like get over my fear of like being seen, get over my fear of um, people, you know, having negative stuff to say about me and what I'm doing. Cause at the end of the day, like, I'm not doing nothing negative. I'm doing all positive. Like, this is a positive thing that I'm doing. And so nobody can't tell me or make me feel like what I'm doing is like something wrong. So I'm about to go start on my hair now. I feel like if you wake up and you be like, wow, like, I really want to do this. Like, I want to pursue a career in this. I really want to work here. I really uh, want to start this business. Whatever it is, I feel like do it. The things that we wake up in the morning and think about wanting to pursue or wanting to do, or if it's something that been on your mind for a long time to start, like I genuinely feel like that's that that's your calling and that's what you're supposed to do when it's something is for you like it's always on your mind starting a youtube channel has like been heavy on my mind for like so long and i finally was like i'm gonna go ahead and do it i had got this camera like a year ago and i had posted like i had recorded a little bit but i never ended up posting anything because i felt like oh like I'm, I wasn't good enough like why would anybody want to watch like my content like that's how like I was feeling I never ended up posting those videos that I had recorded it was like so heavy on my mind I felt like I really want to do this like I really want to do it but I just felt like I wasn't good enough to do it I felt like nobody would would watch me you know I don't have like this luxurious like type of life and I ended up convincing myself that I wasn't good enough to like do YouTube and I never posted but I would think about it all the time like I would literally be like I'm gonna start my YouTube channel I'm gonna start my YouTube channel I'm gonna start my YouTube channel and even when I did end up starting it I posted one video and it took me like another month to post another video and it took me a month after that to post another video now i'm at the place where i feel like you know what like girl you wasting time like saying that this is what you want to do but you still you know acting scary you still not trying to post your content you still you know scared of like being seen trying everybody say like oh everybody gotta start from somewhere they would have like thousands of followers on Instagram. Like I don't have thousands of followers on Instagram. I don't have thousands of followers on TikTok. Like I'm starting from the bottom, like the bottom, bottom. It just takes a lot to like get that much confidence where you're like, I don't care, I'm gonna do it. And I just really hope that y'all rock with me and come with me on this journey. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's our goal. So yeah, this was a really good talk, but I gotta go. I'm so late now, so I'll talk to y'all later. Feeling, feeling, feeling.